All right, welcome back, everybody. First, let's check, see what challenges we can do while we're waiting. Let's see, so, protectrons, floor, wall, roof, and a camp, build bed, table, stairs, and a camp. Easy. Some easy missions. El Samanex, thank you for the prime sub. Uh, seasons. We're rank 13. Uh, what's a score booster do? 24 hours. Oh. Music box. Lady Adeline. Like an NPC. Devilish Union Paint Construction Loader. Cryptic Skull Backpack. I better go bullion. Score boost. Break 100. Oh, then you just keep getting more stuff. Perk coins, lunch boxes. XP boost and random effects. Okay. So lunch boxes just get bonus XP when you consume them. Uh, all right. Uh, it sounds like you haven't played it, uh, death because that's not how the game is at all it's actually really good there's npcs and everything with really good quest lines this game has some of the best quest lines i've played in fallout uh there's just a lot of them do i sub now uh how do i sub to get the backpack now um if you you missed the quest yeah uh when the game launched there weren't any npcs in the game but over the past six years they've added a bunch of them so now you can do entire quest slides where you actually talk to people. Um, all the quests in the base game when it launched were all hidden in notes, audio logs, robots, secret areas of the map. Like it was kind of you had to like really search and find it, which I really enjoyed that. But the average player didn't really care for that. So that's why they kind of moved away from that into more of a, you know, it, all that stuff is still there, but it's just like there's they're added more of the traditional Fallout stuff on top of it now. Anyway, to stop the frame drop, uh, if you're getting frame drops, try um, try a different browser, try logging out and back in. It might just be a temporary internet problem. Oh, I don't I haven't placed a, uh, a armor thingy, power armor. Oh. I can't find the plans for this. Oh, probably brought a load of steel. Okay, let's go ahead and get out. Collect that, and then put that in here. I want to store that for later. Power armor chassis. There is armor. Okay, now it's gone. All right. Um, I think I crafted the best hunting rifle I can. Can I craft some good armor? Let's see. Light armor. I can craft just a metal piece right now. Well, I'll have to wait until we have the skills. Right now, I just don't have it. Oh, well. Uh, do we have any... I should have ingredients to craft some, um, goods for the road. Let's see. Food. Soup. Let's make some boiled water if I can. Nope. Simple ash roast. All food. Crispy Crave cri uh, Cricket. Mmm. So good. Uh, 13? 
Is that it? Blight soup. What the hell's blight soup? Okay, we'll make a couple of those. Let's go ahead and eat our uh, food before we head out. Let's we'll start with the soup because it energizes us more than anything else. There's some rat trunks. Do you ever play 76 other people? Uh, not really. I play it solo. The only time I ever group of people is if we're in an event together. Other than that, I just always play by myself. And I like that. I like playing that way. Let's go ahead and... I play this game like I do every other Fallout, which is, you know, solo experience. Switch to modify. Uh, let's see. I need to... I think it's T and then R. T. Actually, no. What we need to do is build uh, new armor, like level 20 armor. Light armor, leather chest piece, level 20. Left leg, level 20. Left leg, level 20. Right arm, level 20. Right leg, level 20. Uh, let's go ahead and put that on. Let's see if we've got any upgrades as well. Let me scrap our old armor. Studded leather. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade. I love the crafting system in this game. I think it's really fun. Anyone else in chat enjoy like how like the way the crafting works? I think the crafting in this is more fun than any other Fallout game. They just absolutely did a great job with that. Even when it launched, it was pretty good. It's gotten a lot better, but it was it's been it was pretty good even at launch. It's a lot better now for sure. Hmm. Atomic camo. Let's go bolt tech paint. Uh, jumpsuit, standard lining, treated lining. Ooh. Yeah, I can upgrade that. Can we upgrade this at all? No flare. How do I F? Uh, you'll need to talk to your dad about um, how to F. It's not for me to tell you. I'll try the vault boy. Be crazy vault boy. Boiled. Sleek. What does Sleek do? Sneaking speed. Oh. I'll take that. If you're asking how do you get the backpack, you just have to gift a paid sub or sub yourself with a paid sub. Prime doesn't count, unfortunately. Stabilize is scope stability melee. Let's go scope. Paint. We'll do vault tech paint. I'm going crazy vault tech guy right now. Coil leather. Weighted. Melee penetration? No. Oh, I'm out of fiber optics. Let me um, tag the search. Also tag that for search. I swear I'm just like banging the crap out of it right now. Bang. 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 I don't think I'm helping. I'm just sort of slapping it like crazy. Boom. Boom. Deep pocketed is always great because you want that carry weight. Alright, then um let's see what we can we do any upgrades on our weapon. Oh thank you for all those gift subs and subs guys. Enjoy your backpack. Find a power armor frame you can place piece on it and it only weighs ten pounds. Yeah that's right. They uh changed that. Instead of it giving you like a strength bonus when you get into it, you just sort of they made it just, it, it costs less weight to make it easier to, like, use. Otherwise, they've been really annoying. We're out of screws. Thank you for following. Yep, I need all the screws. Anything with a screw in it. Why do I feel like I'm always looking for a screw?
No muzzle, standard sight, forceful grip. <laughs> How do I look? I look ridiculous. Perfect. Okay, let's store some ammo because I have I have just so much ammo. I smell scrap. Well, not literally. I feel like uh I have so much ammo, like they are just absolutely just loading me up with endless ammo and I never have to worry about ammo again. But then again, um, I remember automatic weapons are night and day difference when it comes to ammo. Automatic weapons just eat through ammo like crazy. Uh, you, this game is perfectly fine solo. The only stuff you have to group up with are some group events. Uh, but usually people swarm those anyways, so you don't have to like, actually group with them. Let's go start the Settler's quest line. After I do a thousand other quests in between because I'm going to get distracted. You know how we are, chat. Kims, Kims, nope, no Kims. They haven't added NPC companions into the game yet. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online did, so maybe that will come in a future update where you can like walk around with NPC. There are camp followers that hang out in the base, but they don't like actually, you know, help follow you around or help you or anything like that. It would be interesting to have like companions at some point that would like follow you around and quest with you and comment on stuff they, they recently added that to Fallout um, to Elder Scrolls Online it's been really fun where they just like you know follow you around and comment on stuff comment about how much stuff you're picking up and how you're crazy for that I see a giant fair over there what the hell Nuka World on tour. What? That's new. They have an amusement park now? Oh my god. I don't think this was here in the. Was this here on launch? I don't think it was. I don't remember this. No, this was pretty recent. Yeah, this is an update. Wow. It's Nuka World on tour. Wait, hold on. I heard the... I hear caps. I hear it. There it is, 34 caps. Beautiful. So, in Nuka World, is there like a event that happens here? Or is there like quest lines and stuff? Gone to lunch. Um... This looks cute. Hoop toss. Quest line some events. That's awesome. I wait until tomorrow. Find your future today. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Greetings, stranger. I see you've traveled far to visit my humble stall. Are you interested in seeing what the future holds for you? Everyone knows fortune telling is fake. Impossible. 
impossible. I am not programmed to be a fraud. <laughs> My circuits were designed to predict the future with 100% accuracy. Now, would you like your fortune read? Uh, one second. Uh, the Automod keeps tagging Dantifa as something bad. I don't know why, so I'm going <laughs> to add Dantifa on there. Uh, let's see why. Moderation, permitted terms, Dan Tifa. Maybe it's something in a different language. I don't know. Okay, now Dantifa should work. What's going on here? I am Lady G, Nuka World's on tour resident fortune teller, seer of stars, and gazer into the unknown. For a small fee, I can venture into the unknown and return to you knowledge of the yet to pass. I am but one of many mechanic marvels here on tour, though. I'm joined by Chloe, the balloon artist, and Bruno, the strong bot. A free prediction to start you off. I envision you having a great time here. Uh -huh. Now, how can I be of service? So this is a new piece of content they added recently. That's awesome. Who's the balloon artist? Chloe shapes balloons into visions of life. Her skill in elastomancy should not be taken lightly. How else can I help you? All right, tell me my fortune. The cards tell all. So let's see what fate they have in store for you. <laughs> oh, I know I was blocking that. Okay. Fortune, the Empress upright and added. The Empress is caring and nurturing, creating bonds with others. Now it's time to cultivate your connection to others. Your lucky Nuka flavor is Nuka Cherry. Oh, hello. Have you met my friend Bruno Hi. yet? A happy nuka day to you! <laughs> How can I make you smile today? She's a clown! Uh, who are you? I'm Chloe the Clown Bot. I'm here to make children smile, crack jokes, and sell nukatastic balloons. What do you say? Can I interest you in a balloon today? Chat, you too can be a clown. Just type Dan Clown. Why is the robot handing balloons if they just keep popping? I can really go to right about now. Uh, hi. Chloe. A happy nukerific day? Tell me a joke. Whenever I see a balloon, I have the urge to burst it. I wish I wasn't so influenced by pop culture. <laughs> Tell me a joke. I offered my balloon friend some helium. He said, no thanks. It goes straight to my head. <laughs> Who are the other bots? Well, uh, there's Bruno the strong bot. He's so cool. He's over by the nuka -cade. Oh, there's also the lovely Lady G, teller of fortunes and reader of fates. Oof. I'm sure they'll be pleased to have such a swell visitor stop by. What do you got for sale? Hmm. Let me sell all this. Because I need money. Welcome to Nuka World on Tour. Would you like a balloon? Oh, welcome hi. To welcome, welcome. Name's Pat. I run Nuka World on Tour. How can I help you? What is this Nuka world? Uh, uh, surprisingly, I don't get that question a whole lot. We're a traveling carnival. We used to be linked to the Nuka world theme park, and now we're kind of just doing our own thing. Kept the name, though. And we keep the delicious Nuka cola flowing, too. Can I have some Nuka cola? How long have you been traveling the carnival? Oh, well, uh, forever, really. My folks ran this thing ever since I was little. 
Now, uh, keep it going and tribute to him. Is it not a bit silly to run a carnival in the wasteland? <laughs> uh, maybe. But it's all we've ever known. It's not easy, but it's the best way for Pete and I to keep Would the memory of our folks alive. Well, I what happened to them? Hey. I used to run the tour fun. before the war. But not long after the bombs, we had to run in with some bad guys. They died protecting us. Pete was still young, so I've been taking care of him and the carnival ever since. Uh, it's a kill scene. Welcome Thank you for to the Nuka sub. World's Enjoy your backpack. Tour. Would you like a balloon? Clown lady, please go away. I'm conversing here. Looks like a lot of work to keep running. Who's with, who's with, with Raiders you? attacked us at the last place we set up. Now we're all scattered. Uh, still waiting on the others to turn up. We might not be that lucky. Currently, it's just Gunther, Dell, my brother Pete, and Betty. Uh, she just joined us recently. Would you care for a balloon? Who are these people? Gunther, our resident cowboy, and Dell, our resident grumpy medic, have both been with the tour since before the bombs. My little brother Pete is our part time mechanic. Full time pain in my rear, though. <laughs> Love that kid. Some folks come and go, though. Uh, we just took on Betty. A local from around here. We have room for anybody as long as they're honest and hardworking. Anything I could help with? I'm sure there'll be something for you to do if you ask around. Maybe ask Pete. He keeps telling me about well, some problems he's had. Ma'am, you having Nuka fun? Launcher. Ma'am, got the go now. Enjoy the fair. Jeez, stop clowning around. Ooh, a scrap place. That's awesome. Ammo transfer box. Oh, I like they got all the crafting midgets here for people to craft with and sell stuff. That's awesome. I know she keeps coming around talking about clowning and stuff. I'm like, jeez, lady. Calm down. What a fun little carnival. I have not seen this yet. This is cute. Oh my, there's a big stage in here. What's that? Can I spin the wheel? Aw. I wanna spin the wheel. Most stuff you see you can get plans for for the event, that's awesome. I always like the end game farming of getting recipe plans for your base. It's like the end game of this. Archer Uwu. Nuka Cade. Ooh, is like an arcade? <laughs> oh, hello. Shows an intermission. I'm off the clock. What you need? Thank you, Ashley, for the game controller. Thank you so much. Tell me about this Wild West Showdown game? Suppose I could spare a minute. What you want to know? How do I increase the score exactly? A few different ways, but the easiest is by sticking up one of these towns, folk. The uh, cutouts, I mean. They'll dispense some buckaroos right quick. You'll know they're ready for looting again when their little light turns on. Drop off your ill-gotten gains at the wagon. Anything left in your pockets don't count for nothing. If the law catches wind of you, and they will, be sure to protect your getaway wagon. Lose old Nelly, and it's game over, partner. What are the prizes? Well, we have a range of fancy goodies in the store for you. They're a mix of fancy Nuka-Cola goodies, including some Western attire and even some fine, rare firearms. Ooh. However, you'll have to play to find out where those are, you hear? If you change your... Shows an inner... Uh, what's the Wild West Shutter got to do with Nuka-Cola? Ah, uh, guess you've been living under a rock. In a or vault, from the actually. Look of you, in a vault. Suppose you don't know about Nuka World, then, right? Great place. Lots of rides and attractions. Among them, Dry Rock Gulch, a place full of adventure. 
made out to look like an old western prospect in town. This here's an extension course. Just something to give you a small nuke taste, partner. At least I suspect so. Been a spell since I've been to Nuka World proper. This little tour here might be all that's left. Uh, the Beckett quests are fun. We'll look out for those, Chester. I don't see what this has to do with Nuka Cola, though. Well, it's a play on words. You know, dryness first. Needing that sweet, sweet Nuka Cola like an oasis in the desert. Spend time in Dry Rock Gulch, and you'll be thirsting for a gulp of Nuka Cola. Get it, partner? Oh, that's clever. Thanks. Thought that up myself back in the day. <laughs> How long you been doing this for? Been doing this gig since before the bombs dropped. Still doing it today, as you can see. Gotta say, it's gotten a smidge more dangerous over the years. <laughs> Even so, ain't nowhere I'd rather be. I'm happy to stick with these fine folks, bringing a little joy and happiness to what's left of the world. I would like to drink some Nuka Cola do. Quantum. I bet it tastes good. Complaints, and well, then there's a there, burning Bob. pit. Terrible show. Dear God, they're here list things that are safer than the Abomination Call show. Room full of cultists, nuclear blast, sleeping next to radio barrel, back at Hungry Dog, anything other than this. I asked him my food again. Stopping Point to a madman. Well, the show got me, the got me shot time. twice. Stop. While I was cowering in the saloon screaming for you to stop the damn show, you just screamed and announcing, No, no, the sheriff is coming. That thing started launching bombs. Bombs? What the hell's the matter with you? You really made it out there alive. You've lost my teddy bear in your hellhole. And what did you have to say after? Come to Wild West. Come to Wild West. Goddamn death trap, you psycho. <laughs> oh, man. Uh. How do I pay? Shows an intermission. Suppose I could spare him. Hi, Shows sir. Shows an intermission. As the showrunner, could you help me out? Depends what you mean by that. What you thinking? Uh, after you get after you subscribe with a any sub except for Prime, uh, you will get your backpack, um, or you can gift a sub as well. So it's either a sub with uh, a paid sub or gift a paid sub, and you get the backpack. Prime unfortunately doesn't count. Uh, can you spare some ammo? Hmm. I like the cut of your jib, kid, but I don't have any spare ammo. But hell. Take this. Better than ammo. And will help with the looting. Just you wait and see. Yeah, I don't know why they decided to make it not work no out on, on Prime subs. It's, it's silly. So I guess this is an event that's not active yet. Is there like an actual quest here? Hi, ma'am. Oh, God, Betty. Oh, hello. A lovely new face. How good to see you. I'm Betty. How can I make your day better? What goods have you got? Oh, I sell all the most wonderful items. All the stuff that makes your eyes glow with joy. Feel free to have a browse through my selection. Let's see. What do you got? Bunch of meat. Bunch of Nuka Cola stuff. Western outfit. I like that outfit. Yao Guai pastry. Oh, God. Oh, man. This is like a fun little event area. So I guess this is just public events that pop up. Nuka launcher. He said something about Nuka launcher messing up. What is that explosion? Something crazy just went kaboom. Nuka launcher. Ooh. What the hell is in there? Ooh, a roller coaster? Probably doesn't work, does it? 
No, uh, the thing's not. It doesn't. <laughs> not if there's no track. Oopsie. You can play arcades. Ooh, where are the arcades? Uh, I saw the Wild West. Saw the Nuka Launcher. At the right of the cowboy. Got to do everything myself around here. Hi. I'm Dell. Medic, busy, so let's keep this short. Uh, guy recognitions for the carnival? Well, my stall, of course. Eh, Betty has some okay stuff, too, I guess. But definitely stay away from Pat. Is that? Every day. She complains about my chems. Is that the voice actor of Shur Gorath and... What's his name? Oh, God. If, uh... What what is his name? I can't remember it. The voice actor. See the stars clear. Who arcade right there? <laughs> Wes Johnson. Yes, there we go. Arcade. Oh, prize terminal. Nuka Cola prizes. Is there a way or way to start these Happy games? Look at the bottom of the arcades to play. Have you met Chloe the Clown Bot yet? Her just can even make Dell smile. Uh oh, I have my weapon equipped. Oh. Oh no. Oh god. Whack a Kami score. 183 points at it. There's new cup, Nuka Cade. You can use points when you score your redeem for prizes at the prize from Nuka Cola World on Tour. Let's see how much stuff costs. Prize level one. 200 points. Ammo. Bottle water. How much for the big prizes? 20,000. Weaponized Nuka Cola schematics. 20,000. Wakakami. Oh man, you can make these games. Weaponized Nuka Cola Quantum Ammo. Oh wow. That's awesome though. What a fun little area. I like that. Is you watched these follow series? Yes, I just finished the whole thing. It I was, like your face. It was amazing. The, without any spoilers, the, the finale made me super excited about season two. I am just like, oh, yeah, let's get season two going. Yeah, no spoilers in chat. Nope, please don't type any spoilers in the chat. Um, but... No spoilers in the chat, but... Yeah, we're it's it's gonna be exciting um, going to new locations in the next one. Wish they had to upload some outtakes. Oh, I bet there's a bunch. I know probably most of the actors on that set had probably no idea what any of the Fallout lore was, and they just had to like make it up as they went. 
some of those some of those uh, probably never even heard of the games, but they did a good job um, now, acting in the show. Now trading for supplies, ammunition, and gear. And gear. For all junk. Oh, Al. Sorry, uh, Ella Purnell says she played the games to prepare the, for the role. Well, she did great then. Good. She was very good at what she at her role. So I'm glad she took that effort to like. She took the time to. Um, it was someone's blasting down there. Ooh. You guys want to see a nuclear blast? Attention, citizens. Ooh. Nuclear strike imminent. Ooh. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, uh, she she did a great job. The ghoul did a great job. He, he said he uh, the guy who played the ghoul said that he tried to get in the lore but gave up. Yeah, it's like. As long as you just do your role well, like you don't need to know the lore, but it's just it's just nice when they do, but it's great. Alright, let's get Yeah, Lucy, the main character, was great. Um I did not like the guy that I did not like the the character of of um what was he was it Morgan? Marshall? The brother to steel guy, Maximus. There it is. Maximus was a very unlikable character for me. I did like he didn't really have many redeeming qualities. He was just kind of an asshole and a liar, and just it's like I I understand why he was the way he was, but it just wasn't. I don't know. He was. I liked him more towards the end, but most of the show was just like this guy's. This guy sucks. I don't like him very much. But I, I get why he was the way he was. For sure. Alright, let's get ready for... We're going to get ready for a photo. Death from above complete. Oh, wait. The event started. Seismic activity. Two <laughs> crystals from the roller coaster using yeah. melee. Ooh, a 
an event started at Nuka Cola World. Oh god! What the hell? Holy sh- Oh my god! What the hell is that? Holy shit! I'm helping! <laughs> Thank you! Oh god. Holy shit! It's like a giant, whatchamacallit? Mole rat. I'm so helping. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy. guys are tearing them up! Jumping doesn't seem to help with the, the attack. Uh -oh. oh god. <laughs> that Titan is huge! I feel like I'm not helping much. <laughs> All these guys are super high level and I'm like... favorite noisemaker. Uh oh. Holy shit. This is insane. So I step back. Absolutely bonkers. Level up. Yeah, I'm going to focus on the minions. <laughs> I'm almost out of step back.
kill it faster. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. I'm fighting a level 120 something plus monster. Place giving massive XP though. Uh, your uh, your uh, what you call it? <laughs> your code for the backpack will show up in your Twitch notifications. But it can't be a prime sub, it has to be a paid sub. It's gonna respawn. Man, I these bosses have gotten insane. Like, holy shit. This is nothing compared to what it used to be. <laughs> I don't have any stim packs. I didn't, I didn't realize I need a thousand. <laughs> so I, all I can do is res again and again. Oh, it's dead. They got him. Good job. They did it. Woo! Level up. <laughs> I got a three star legendary. Well, that, well, that's a fun little event. Stem pack, treasury note, hunter fuel caps. Uh, Respecial any time with a punch card machine. You can ask the special loadouts giving her a unique build. Punch card machines also found in certain locations around Appalachia. Stem pack, metal chest piece, ultra size pack. Well, that was a fun little. That was fun, you know, mine is dying like a thousand times. Just loot everything really fast. Yeah, I got a few stim packs now, so now we can heal it. <laughs> I was not supposed to be there that early, but I just did it to show you, to see what it was like. But holy hell, that was a lot of damage. Ooh, miner's key. Uh, AOE loot doesn't seem to work here, actually, for some reason. Da, 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 da. Oh, there it goes. Now it's working. Okay. Shotgun shells, rat eggs, loose screws. Yeah, it just seems like sometimes the AOE loot bugs out. It's it's probably a newer feature, so they're probably working out the bugs. It's strange that there'd be bugs though, because usually Bethesda is really good at getting 100% of all the bugs out of the game before they release it. So I'm surprised that there's any bugs at all. <laughs> yeah, I love Fallout 76. I think it's really fun. I'm gonna, ooh, hunter right leg. Damage from animals increase? Ooh, caps, rat away. Uh, Gorgia, Daredevil, thank you for the subs, guys. Um. 
All right, let's see what, what legendaries I get. Hunter pull, pull Q, grand finale, plus one projectiles, hip fire XC, 100% recoil damage. Oh, I got two level ups for that. Damage resistant while reloading, increased damage with fireworks. Oh, what is, what is this? Let's see. America! Ooh. That's America. Uh, Fallout 76 uh, used to be really just really bland for a lot of people, but they've overhauled it a lot now. So if you haven't played it in a long time, I haven't played it since launch, definitely give it another try. Because there's a lot more NPCs and stuff to like actually give you missions and stuff. Which, which a lot of people need to like enjoy the game. Only got one more one more cannonball. America! We got two level ups. Let's see. Perk pack. What do we got? Let's see. Gunsmith Ninja. Iron stomach. Can do. Rabbit says to the hedgehog, can't you share? Because someone's hogging the hedge. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I don't want to get it, but I get it. Pick lock. Expert pick lock. I'll take that. Um, endurance. Let's go. Let's go luck. <laughs> Chance to find extra chems and first aid containers. More bottle caps and stashes. Hmm. Canned food. Simpax make repeatable flesh. Any ch any kill in vats is a chance to refill your critical meter. Food will spoil. Collecting. Mm. Let's do the bottle caps. Sounds fun. Go ahead and do rifle damage. And over here, let's do cap collector. Thank you for following. Go ahead and rank that up. Perfect. Bum, bum, bum. So many party favors. Build Beckett's bar in your camp. Oh yeah, I can do that. What place is this? Oh, most wanted has started. I want to go do some more main quest stuff though. I keep getting wrecked in there. Lowe's taxidermy. Let's go see what's over here. Lewisburg. Let's drop our survival tent over here somewhere so I can empty all my inventory stuff. I like this new sur this survival tent thing they have now. All right, let us first scrap Scrap and store all junk. All right, then let's put the uh, legendaries in here as well. Grand finale weighs a lot. 
Those all weigh a lot. I don't want to use those just yet. Okay, not so bad. <laughs> what are the awards over here? You could call awards, you could points, treasure points. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Bro, I'm not paying Final Night for a backpack and Fallout 76. That's fine. You don't have to. You also get it free with Game Pass as well. If you, if you have Game Pass. And it's $4.99 on uh, Twitch. Hello, Taxidermy. Let's see what's in here. Uh, that doesn't work with Prime subs, though, unfortunately. So the, the backpack won't work with... Um... Wait, Sheep Squatch? Hello. I, I assume you're listening to me now because you followed the poster. Well, I'm Shelly Van Lowe, and I'm looking for my brother. Well, well, let me spoil the surprise now. My brother wasn't eaten by a damn sheep squatch. At least, I'm not worried about a Kayla. Case. But I think Calvin's obsession with proving it exists may have more than a little to do with his disappearance. Calvin... He's not right. Never has been. And when he suddenly showed up in town after years of being away, I, I knew there was something strange going on. Next thing I know, he's vanished. All his belongings still here. Him? Gone. But it, it, it doesn't feel right. He didn't just move out again. I contacted the police about trying to find him. But the war broke out. Well, Ape, sheep sure squat. You know how Ape, went. my brother. So I'll get to the point. I'm leaving Lewisburg. I don't have a choice. But I, I can't just forget Calvin. If you think you can help, then please head up to the office on the third floor. See if you can pick up his trail. If Calvin is still out there, he needs to know I'm looking for him. And if he's not, well, I, I think that's something I need to know, too. Oh, open that door. Yeah, I purposely was waiting for the dialogue to end. My friend Wolf, I know you can't give a dog a bone, but what about a wolf? Head to the basement to find out. Give the wolf a bone? That sounds like a clue. Can't give a wolf a bone. Let's see what's upstairs. Security code, where is it? Office, no. Storeroom, no. Cabin, what is that weird note? My room, no. Basement, I guess so. Who, black sheep, wolf, Bo Peep. Calvin, is some kind of joke? What happened to you, Shelly? Uh oh. The hell is that? <laughs> Must be the. Must be the buffs I got for that one thing. Food dehydrator. It's confetti mess. Uh, life with Calvin. My little brother Calvin and I grew up in this strange old place. Those cats? Our folks ran the shop downstairs and when they passed, this ended up with me. Calvin Thank you for following. Always the odd sort. But smart, too. After college, he ran off to work for some big shot company out of state. Barely heard from him after that. Calvin has um, conditions, like obsessions. Yeah, uh, 
A research project? No, I didn't buy it. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if this had nothing to do with his job. If he even had one. The last time I saw Calvin was right before I went away for the weekend. Not even a goodbye. When I came back, he was gone. The only thing Calvin ever cared about was this goddamn sheep squatch. I, I know that's the root of his disappearance. I have no doubt about it. Not sheep squatch. Surely sheep squatch isn't a real thing. <laughs> that would be silly. Terminal. Research security code required. Access denied. We'll look around a bit more. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> oh, man. Cake pan. Toast NA, thank you for that sub. Uh, appreciate that. Note to self. Note to uh, self, Calvin. Keep it together. I have. I mean, you have a real job to do. You can't be distracted by your academic pursuits. No, no, no. Fantasies. This is too important. But if you're listening to this, it means you're slipping. So, repeat after me. The Sheep Squatch isn't real. Isn't it, the though? The Sheep Squatch isn't real but if it is then i could oh interesting i hadn't considered that i wonder if i still have that article about the uh, uh no 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 hey no stay focused stay on task if you screw up you know what will happen so <laughs> this is so stupid Calvin, me, <laughs> just, just, just concentrate. God, and get back to work. He's obsessed with this sheep squatch. Dear my friend Wolf, imagine you're here to follow my trail. I left what you'll need in a display case downstairs. Good luck, black sheep. What the hell is this, Shelly? Sounds like some sort of agent code. It's also get this buff. Yeah. Scourge Boy, thank you for that sub. Harmonic Arcade, thank you for the sub. I hate to be a very bad news, but Prime subs don't work on the backpack, unfortunately. I don't know why Twitch made it that way. I think they're just slowly trying to nerf Twitch Primes, Prime Gaming over and over, so that way they can just drop it someday when it's not as valuable. I think they're slowly trying to make it less palatable, little by little, by doing little things like this, so that way when they remove it someday, it's not as it doesn't sting as bad. That's my current hypothesis about what they're doing and why, very slowly. I said something, there's a, there is a, um, something about a wolf. There's a wolf. Can I give him the bone? Uh-oh. <laughs> Jeez. That confetti just explodes everywhere, doesn't it? Calvin security code. Terminal security code, a Sasquatch in sheep clothing. Mission briefing, Mary's little lamb. Field operative, black sheep. Handler, Bo Peep. Fixer, big bad wolf. Site, Lewisburg. Hmm. All right, we'll take that for now. We can. Cue ball, thank you for that 21 month resub. 
And then let's go. Oh, sorry. Go to the computer upstairs. Well, this game is so good now. Yeah, it's gotten so much better over the years. Thank you for following. Social. All right, let's go to the terminal over here and see what we can find. Full, full, events, events, casual, public team benefits. Bonus XP for completing daily ops, endurance. Sas Sheep Squatch 2070 to 2072. Um, Sheep Squatch Field Research. Rumor sheep disappearing. It's my hypothesis that sheep squatch each sheep. This one is Scoot's idea. Bristol, the guy, is a stupid lead. I'd bet that Scoot is a cannibal for a sheep squat just now. It was just na neighbors suing the sheep, obviously. Number two. Strange tracks found on the trails near Point Pleasant, uh, provided by a fellow cryptic hunter in the area. I had high hopes here, but couldn't find any tracks. Uh, strange white animal spot in the area. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I just barely got a glimpse of it. A beautiful white blur. Long horns. It was on four legs, surprisingly, but why haven't I considered that? It's real. It's really real. I have to tell Scoot and Ray. Stop it. It's been months. Not real. I'd have to keep reminding myself. What's wrong with me? Still not real. I have to stop it. It's not real. I'll tell it, guys, I can't do this anymore. It's not real. I can't keep doing this myself. It's not real. I have to study. I can't let this control my life. It's not real. Research project. Um, Sasquatch sighting Lewisburg. Witness reported something unusual wandering on Lewisburg shortly after 11 p.m. Police were notified. No patrol car was dispatched. Something unusual. Walk around the night to the night. Try leaning on the right home route and you spread out more. Uncanny caverns. Creature spotted. Um, a witness wandering around the hills and canyon va um, valley. Police statement claims the witnesses were visibly intoxicated, likely a teen getting drunk behind an old sign again. On hold. After a last attempt to clear it, I'm not going to need a better resource to pull this off. You stay um, focused. Remember what's important. Uh, automated alert set by user Calvin. M meet Bo Peep at Bastion Park for demonstration. Don't be late. Download coordinates. Lying low. Robco customer support. Mr. Van, Ms. Van Lowe, unfortunately, the Guinness Robo policy is unlock pass protected terminals or authenticate system within a terminal without sent to the registered owner. Calvin Van Lowe, Rob Kill values the security of his privacy of all its users. Please accept people's apologies for the loss of insert family member's first name and believe um, us when we say that select level of sympathetic message. <laughs> I've been looking for a written or physical copy of the password for security purposes. All Sincerely, all of us at Rob Co. Mounted Wolf Head. Notes, plans, Mount Wolf Head, Nuka Cola balloons. Ba ba black sheep. But have you any wool? Hmm. That is the question. Thank you, Nicholas, for that prime sub. I really confused Kitty. Thank you for that sub as well. Good photo right there. Very fiery. Oh, rubber band. Uh oh. Got him. <laughs> Nailed it. Nope. Got 
him again. Now, where is this park? It's somewhere over that way. Spring Garden Festival. That sounds like fun. You know, minus the nuclear bomb that went off, but it was fun until that point. Look, it could have been a cute little festival, but nope. Now it's just a wasteland. Let's do photo mode. Yeah, I've definitely noticed that I'm getting a lot, a lot of ammo for the weapon I'm holding because it looks like they changed it so that you get ammo back. Probably to cut back on, I remember when in the past I had to farm a lot to make enough ammo to keep my automatic weapon like firing because it was like a lot, a lot. Thank you everybody, Fuse Kitty, for gifting a sub to VB Green. Enjoy your backpack. Bliss9, thank you for that resub as well. Here for the backpack only. Kappa, love you, Dan. Well, thank you. Even if you were, that's fine. Don't hurt my feelings. All right, let's do photo mode. Depth of field, off. Don't like the sun being gone, so let's send right back here. Charleston, spin the wheel. Photo around Ashy Region. I didn't know that was a thing. Perfection. Ooh, a whole bottle of vodka. That's mine. I'll drink that. <laughs> a bottle of vodka quenched my thirst. That is not going to quench my th anyone's thirst. That's way too much alcohol. Lewisburg Visitor Center. Uh, how about game? Only one letter. How about love? Nailed it. By the way, I loved in the TV show watching like when real life stuff, real sorry, when video game stuff would happen. Um, do you remember when uh, you would like see stuff from? Uh, yeah, I have some right away. Uh, when you see stuff from, in that would happen on the show that happens in game, like they had the hacking mini game for a second I was like <gasps> and they had the sound when the flashlight turns on that matches the game as well that boom was like <gasps> I was like yes that was the good stuff yeah and the pit boy made the same sounds in the show as it does in the game it was like oh it was so good Lewisburg newsletter Hello, everyone. It's another great day in Lewisburg. The mini team is prepared this month's let new let newsletter to let you know the happenings of Lewisburg Sky Gardens. We're over to the accessor of Roof Garden in initiative. Flowers produce clean air. Fellowship is some it's something we can all enjoy. If you'd like to know, be part of our Sky Gardens, let Miss uh, Highly know. Toxic Ash PSA. They're working hard to keep Lewisburg pristine. Sometimes the weather isn't always cooperative. Please make sure you wear your gas mask. We visit a visitor center for replacement filters. Artists of this month, uh, Lacey is going to be in Stony Road Art Center. Please stop by. Appreciate beautiful oil paintings. Spring Garden Festival. It's almost time for this year's Festival of Spring. We want to highlight our beautiful sky gardens. Be sure to visit the, um, downtown this Saturday for food, flowers, and crafts, and live music. Mm -hmm. Buff out. 
Bob it, Pin. <laughs> Woodbox, bourbon, submachine gun. Take that just to dismantle it. Town has a lot of interesting lore going on. It's like someone absolutely demolished the hell out of it. Oh, uh, let's go up onto the roof. Or not. Looks like it's not going to work. Do you have to play online? Yes, you have to. You don't have to play with other people, though. You can just play by yourself and ignore everyone else. Kind of like Outer Schools Online. Where in Outer Schools Online, like, you'll see other players occasionally, but you don't ever have to interact with them, except outside of, like, doing a group, group content together. Are there Death Claws? Of course. You can't have Fallout and not have Death Claws. That's like having an award show without awkward jokes. Like, you have to. It's the law. Sky Gardens. Hmm. Are you code for backpack? You just have to gift a paid sub or sub for the first time. It can't be a prime sub. That doesn't work for some reason. Um, but if you gift a sub, you'll get a notification at the top of the screen. You just redeem that on the Bethesda's website, and then you get your code instantly. Then when you go to craft in the game, you can put the skin on any backpack it just goes over top of the backpack as a skin and this is what it looks like roses ash rose looks really nice they did a good job with it yeah you can also add flares to your backpack but those are separate easy pickings all right, we've been eyeing Lewisburg for a while now. It's actually impressive that they stay organized as slum. We found a weak spot. The stupid sky gardens pretend to clean the air. They've got bridges connecting the gardens across most of the rooftops of the city. Get up there. It's easy pickings on everyone below. Here's the plan. Saturday in their spring garden festival, we're going to remember them. Uh, I'm sure we all remember them before the bombs. They all pile into downtown and pretend to be artsy while listening to shitty music. Absolutely no one will be expecting a raid. Let's go to the visitor center to the rooftops, set up the um, around the festival, and... Like I said, easy pickings. So they came up here and they killed everybody? Why are raiders so mean? Like, why are they so grumpy? It is like a problem. Glitch and Frips, thank you for those resubs, guys. Uh, yeah, you get a backpack um, recipe like right away in the game. And then you can put it as a skin on your backpack. Ooh, chemistry workbench. How does it compare to your normal Fallout games? The gameplay is very similar. Um, it's just online, so you will see other players. But, like, the day-to-day, -day act, like, how you play a Fallout game is very similar to how you play this game. You just walk around, shoot enemies, do some quests for NPCs, read some notes, listen to some audio logs. Find loot, get better loot, get stronger, level up. It's, all that's very, pretty much exactly the same as a single player game. It just happens to all be online. The crafting is more in depth in this game than most other games. Though. Uh, hi there. Nope. I hear someone going beep. Got him. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Get with these guys. These, these guys kind of drop code. Silo code.
Now, I feel like the, the enemies drop a little too much ammo now. It's almost impossible to run out of ammo unless you have an automatic weapon and you just hold the button down the whole time. Like, they, you get so much ammunition from the enemies now. Confetti is a lunch box of box effects where you open it up near other players and then they all get a little buff. One of them's making everything explode. No, I'm not playing on a private server, playing on um, public server. The maps are huge. And most of the high low players are just doing events, so you don't really see them outside of events. Because the map is, uh, I think, four times the size of the map of Fallout 4 as a size comparison. She big. High levels now severe, you spend a lot more ammo then. Probably it takes probably a lot of a lot of shots to bring something down. But it's probably more of an issue on automatic weapons. Sing single fire rounds are probably a lot less um, ammo wasty. You read so slow? Well, thank you. At least I can read. Yeah, I like uh, four needs a lot of mod support to really like flesh out the RPG part of it. With mods, it's really good, but without mods, it definitely just feels a little more hollow, I guess. Huh? Who goes there? Your worst nightmare, lady. Confetti. <laughs> Boom. Killed a bald eagle. Nice. Rank 14 achieved. Hell yeah. Get rid of black. I can't. Ow, sir. Keep another shotgun. All right. Healing. Yeah, I'm playing through Steam. They got rid of the Bethesda launcher a while ago, so you can't play this outside of Steam anymore, I don't think. Oh, in, con in console, of course. I don't think you can play it anywhere other than Steam now, because the Bethesda launcher used to be where you could play it otherwise, but they converted everything over to Steam. Oh, and Game Pass. I forgot Game Pass. Game Pass is m kind of just like playing Xbox on your PC a lot of the times so, though. But but yeah. Investigate Bastion Park. Uh, up this way. Here's another code. You're really sad when the launcher is removed? Oh, you're that guy. <laughs> the one guy that was upset. There is PvP in the game, but no one does it because it's not worth it. And most people have pacifist mode on, which disables PvP. I hear... I see a raider. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he exploded. Silo Alpha Code S9. Take it. I just randomly got two pieces of the nuclear silo code. Go me. Float fly. Eh. 
There we go. I don't like that sound you're making, sir. <laughs> Thank you. We leveled up again. How does VATS work? It works exactly the same as the games, except it doesn't pause time. That's the only difference. Bo Peep's note on Calvin. Uh, Calvin's... Bo Peep's mission notes, 1077. It's a big difference, yes. But it actually... Once you get used to it, it actually feels better not pausing. It makes the it makes the battles go a lot faster than like constantly pausing in bats. Calvin's sorry, Black Sheep's last effort didn't pan out. Either so this or nothing. I'm starting to wonder why I pl plugged so hard for this guy. If this meat doesn't yield some results, I'm done. He's done. I mean done in a very unpleasant sense. Wolf's at the end of his rope. The psych eval showed me he was dis me was disturbing. If I'd seen it before, would I, uh, would I have still pushed for this project? Still, I had pushed to be his handler. How did Calvin ever get a clearance to work at a place like Bish? Uh, no, this time, no time to second guess yourself. Social engineering is one thing, but this is another. It's all science. Calvin can do science. I know he can. I'll make uh, this meeting. He'll show off the product, and everything will be just fine. Find all clues in the park. Detective Monday's case notes arrived at the scene at 3.27 a.m. Smoked cigarette. Found the body of the woman in the playground. Burned almost beyond recognition. Smoked cigarette. Lamented the condition of the crime scene to myself. And interviewed witness Gary Wiggle Jace Jacobs. Uh, witness was jittery and able to stay still. Witness reports bright lights and screams. Witness um, is certain it, will, it was an alien um, abduction. Smoked a cigarette. Witness did not see actual attack. Smoked a cigarette. <laughs> Lack of disturbing evidence of any theory for the crime. Writing this up as the cause of death unknown. Out of cigarettes. Smoked a lot of cigarettes. Broken camera. Wolf's letter to Bo Peep. Bo Peep, go ahead with the meat. You know I don't care about your... T share your enthusiasm for Black Sheep and his projects. Uh, but we need a return on investment if we can get one. You're his handler. You fought for this project. Make sure it's worth our while. I'm going to want a report in person this time, but I've relocated since we last spoke face-to-face. -face. Meet me in Sal Grinders in Beckley. The town's in bad shape right now, but the place is deserted. Nobody listened. Nobody listened in. Remember to burn the snow when you're done. Wolf. Investigate Sal's Grinders. Which is oh way the hell over there. Let me go over here and grab the settler's quest though. It's pretty close. Soy Legion, thank for that prime gaming sub. Yeah, I know you can get um the level up bonus by joining public teens. I just don't want to. Only one actually come over towards me. All right, let's do another point in intellect. Crafting workshop items now costs less materials. Um, hacking, hacking, melee power parts right away. Probably, probably should grab the hacking one. Just to have that. And then put it on there. Oh, I can rank this up. Guns. Guns break slower than craft tier 5 plans. Tier 5 guns. Scrapper. Hacker. Pharmacist. Action Boy. Gunslinger. Need so much stuff. Yeah, Fallout 76 has gotten really good now. I highly recommend giving it another try if you haven't played. Especially if you haven't played since launch. If you play it now, you won't recognize the games. It's changed so much. 
in almost every way from when it, the game first launched and it was like extremely buggy no NPCs not that much to do out of out of a handful of um, events it's uh, gotten a much much needed facelift and overhaul Yeah, I recommend playing this game just like you would play any Fallout game. Just make a character and go around questing by yourself. Investigate dungeons, go get loot, make your little base. That's it. I honestly despise this game at launch and now I love it. A lot of people have that opinion. A lot of people have just not ever come back to, to see that how much, it's, how much it has changed over the years. It's changed a lot. It's changed so much that a lot of people that didn't like it or hated it at launch will probably love it now. Yeah, I've been playing the whole thing, the whole time solo. The only time you'll need to be in a group is during uh, pu public events. And you don't even need to be in a group. Um, people will just come up and you can join them. And they'll just work together towards events. Spooky Ark, thank you for that Prime Gaming sub. Looks like there is a base over here. Uh, the events Thank are like following. anything from fighting a gigantic world boss to doing like a silly mini game or etc. If you have um, friends you can play like you play with the whole time, that's always fun too. One thing that does suck, though, I don't know if they fixed it or changed it, but it used to be that only one person, the party leader, could get credit for, for quests that have single-player instances. I don't know if they fixed that or changed that. Thank you for following. Some quests have, like, single-player sections where you go inside and then, um... Vault Boy, Vault Girl. Sight Charlie. Overseer's log. Missile Ooh. Silo Charlie. I've now verified that all three missile silos still have fully operational security. No way inside yet, but I'll scour all of Appalachia if I have to. Oh, this is one of the nuclear launch sites. Got. Ooh, Nuka Cola. I'll take that. I think I have a quest to drink Nuka Cola right now. I'm gonna double check. Challenges. Drink 25 Nuka Colas. Yep. Just gonna drink a bunch of those. <laughs> Let's keep working our way over to the settlers' missions. We want to get that started because that will unlock some of our daily missions. The good old daily gold grind. Right away diluted. Yeah, unfortunately, um, the prime subs don't trigger the the codes for the backpack. Has to be a paid sub, unfortunately. I don't know why they did that, but that's what they decided to do. Thank you, Twitch. Uh, is it up here, the railroad? Would you recommend the DLC to new player? Um, DLC? I don't think there's any... Oh, do you mean there, there's free updates to the base game? You don't have to pay for any of the missions or new areas or stuff. That's all included with the base game fee. 
So if you already own the game, you already can play all that. You don't have to buy any DLCs for that. All the DLCs are cosmetic stuff. Or minor buff stuff that you can all that you can just make in game too. Uh, thank you, Larker and Undead Saint. Thank you for the substance. Uh, you can play this game wherever you want. If you want to play it on Game Pass, you want to play it on Steam. Uh, Steam has a very nice community. Do do like the Steam version? They have a very good community on this version of the game. Weapons. Um, is there a bench? Yes. Let's go break this stuff down. Trying to unlock those upgrades. Atlantic City is an ex expedition where you travel outside of the map to a new map. Same with um, the pit. These are like stuff you can do daily to go out and do to a different area. In radio jammer? I think it's the R button here. Visit to... Oh, uh, White Spring Refuge. White Spring. So, over here. So, if I do this, I could do unlock the ability to go to expeditions. Do that send you code once you subscribe? No, uh, Twitch does. Once you subscribe on Twitch with a paid sub, not a prime sub, or gift a sub, you'll get an instant notification at the top of the screen with the code that you can redeem on Bethesda's website. When you break down the weapons, what how it works is you learn that mod forever, and then you can craft it onto another weapon. I think it worked. I let me double check. If you replace the mod, does it go in your inventory? I'm not sure. But like Fallout 4, you, when you craft a mod, it would like go to your inventory and replace it. Of course, like that or not. The settlers, I think, are over at that green thing right there. Uh, sometimes people have frame rate issues with the game. Um, it is recommended to, on the Steam forums, there's some posts about how to unlock the frames and a couple of tweaks to make your frame rate better. It does have some weird this sometimes on some computers, but it's usually an easy fix. It's only take like a couple of settings you change in the config files. There's, I think there's some guides or some posts on there, you, or just Google it. There's some like links. Would you mind getting the uh, follow up first? Um, if I first would play the game, see if you like it, and then if you do, see how much you need infinite storage space. If you don't, then I wouldn't bother with it. Because that's the main draw of Fallout First is getting the infinite um, storage space. Also, um, the take a look at the season pass thing. You get the season pass with Fallout First as well. So like, look and see. If, is there stuff in here that looks like you would want? Or if you want to like earn it, you can grab it for that. So ba when you get Fallout First, basically you get the season pass and then Adams to spend the shop equal to the amount you spent. I think it's even a little better than uh, one to one Clean ratio. Up this. Fix that. Ugh, it never seems to end. You help us out and we pay you some caps. Nothing more to it. Is that supposed to be clever? One look at you and I knew we had a hothead in town. What? I'm sorry if I offended you. I'm doing my best to help with our with our initiatives. You know what? You're right. I shouldn't let my petty emotions get in the way of what we've set out to do. Here, take this. I'm glad we put this behind us. Yeah, and currently in the shop, they are giving, they are doing a free trial of Fallout First. If you want to like try it out, see what it's like to have unlimited um, storage, how to make, yeah, I forgot private servers. Um, 
you won't get the items with the trial, but it's just you get some of the features with the trial. Like infinite storage and stuff. A lot of people put most people I think play this game without the Fallout first because they don't find it necessary. But if you got a little extra spending money, it's um twelve dollars isn't like a, gonna break you, then it's worth it if you like to buy cosmetics and got the infinite storage, but otherwise you don't really need it. Like it's nice to have, but it's not it's like it's it's if you don't do a lot of base building and hoarding of resources, um, you probably won't need it. But if you're the type of person that wants to have infinite storage for all your junk to craft with, then So what's your maybe. story, Dweller? My story is... You're stupid. Okay. Let's um, go in here. What's that, John? Foundation. Talk to the settler leader. Let's go down over here. Hmm. Scrap all of our junk. I'm going to run to the bathroom real fast, guys. Be right back in just a second. Everyone guys, pulls their own weight at Foundation. Minutes.
We are back. Where'd he go? <laughs> Sir? Oh, you're over there now. Okay. Uh, Prime does not work for the backpack. It has to be a paid sub. We don't know why it's not working, but it's not. Only um, paid subs are working. Well, uh, this is a little awkward. You're from one of the local vaults, right? Hope you don't mind us settling in your neighborhood, because <laughs> we're already kind of here. And if you want to kick us out, then the answer's no. <laughs> if the walls weren't already kind of a statement to that effect. Yep, um, the in-game store has a, a free trial for Fallout first. I, think it, I don't know how long it lasts, but it's on the uh, store. I just saw it today. The important thing right now is getting you inoculated against the Scorch Plague. Inoculated? This some kind of a scare tactic? Yes, you could be in third-person view the whole time. You haven't seen the Scorch running around? You mean those crazies with the torch skin? Those aren't just burn victims? You're saying it's from a disease? Thanks for the warning, but... You know, if I was a local on a campaign to keep people out of my neighborhood... I might say a few things, too. I'll tell you what. One of my own is a doctor. Aubrey. I sent him ahead to start up an observation camp. Get the lay of things. You talk to him about this. If he's convinced, then I'm convinced, too. Deal? All right, I'll check with Aubrey. Then uh, you'll get inoculated? Assuming he agrees with you about this disease, then we'll hear you out. Hi, buddy. If these people don't get the um, the virus, they they don't get the if they don't get inoculated, they're gonna all turn into scorch, and it's gonna be a big deal, a BFD even. And we really don't need another BFD. Cigarettes. I'll take both of those. Huh? I made a lot of friends. Nobody's How do we get back? Yet, oh, over there. Through the elevator. Hello there. The other Kev, thank you for the the gift sub. Enjoy your backpack. Enjoy. Hello, Ba. Oh, go! Not active yet. But it will be in the future. Okay, let me uh, get just... Find Audrey. She's... Oh, she's way back over there. Maybe Ward has more drawing paper I can have. Trade gold bullion? Lunchbox. Auto miner. Cattle prod. Chicken coop. Flare. Beehive. Perfect bubblegum. Sonny always says his stuff will go on sale tomorrow. All right, let's go. What's that right there? Talk to Ward. Oh, daily. Seen my tool. Never mind. Hello, sir. Some extra patrols. Finally, someone with the guts to help. When we went to get our intrusion module, it was gone. I think it was taken by a thief. If you can get it back, we'd be very grateful. Grateful enough to pay you. Sure, sounds right up my alley. Excellent. Fortunately, we put tracking transmitters into the really sensitive stuff like that. I can show you roughly where it is, but you'll have to wait until you're closer to get an exact fix on it. Get within tracking range. Hi. Hey there. The name's Maggie. I'm looking for someone to head into Monongamine for me. 
I'll pay for anything you can find about a man named Earl Williams. He's... he... he was my pops. The mines have been closed up since before the war, but you look like the resourceful type. Think you can lend me a hand? Sure, I can help you out. Really? Without hearing any details? Must be real desperate for some caps. But hey, maybe your desperation will come in handy. I could use someone with some real motivation. Where in game do I get the backpack? Uh, you just craft any backpack, and then you, when you go to an armor station, you can put a skin on the backpack, and one of the skins will be the vault, um, the vault 33 backpack. Whew. So glad to be away from this. So it itself is not a backpack; it is a skin for your backpack. Like for survive like the rest of us after that. NPC is getting up. How's right. it going? You have a chance to make it to Monaga Mine yet? I have some questions. Such as? I want to know more about the job. Fair enough. I'll tell you what I can. How did he end up in Mon Monaga Mine? He and some other townsfolk got some liquid courage one night and decided to go up to the mine. <sighs> I knew that damn bourbon would be the end of him somehow. They kept going on about getting the last of what they could before that Deke Sachs from Hornwright Industrial closed up the mine. Well, that son of a bitch ended up blasting the entrance closed with everyone still inside. When did this happen? This was back in January of 76, after Hornwright cleaned out everything that they could from the mine. So, I'm not delusional. I know he's dead. It's been over 20 years, and if the hunger didn't get him, then I'm sure the radiation did. Unless... I, just, I hope he didn't suffer too much. Well, he could be dead, unless... Why don't anyone try to get, get them out? You don't think I tried? I clawed at the rubble until my hands bled, and they had to drag me away. They told me that my pops ran off and said the others left Mananga since there was no more work. I think it was some sort of cover-up. They either got paid off by the Hornwrights to keep quiet, or they didn't want to deal with the expenses of a rescue mission. I haven't played since the release, but heard they've done a lot of updates and made it better now that I absolutely love the first season of the series. It's just play again. I hope transferring to Steam was a smart play. Yes. Definitely give it a try again. It's change so much if you guys have amazon prime they're giving the game away on there um just go to prime gaming's website and redeem a code for xbox or pc um and they've done a lot of updates at npcs lots of new places to go it's it's just been a really good remake a re redo of the game almost from the ground up where do i read the code um you click on the link in the notification and then it'll You'll redeem it on that website. You just make it a Bethesda account and then um, redeem it there. How's it going? Yeah, you, you have how a to chance get inside? to make it to Monaga Mine yet? With all those horrible nukes dropping and destroying everything, you'd think one would land near Monaga Mine. I bet a powerful blast like that would knock the rubble out of the way so you could get inside. Use a nuke on Monaga Mine? Can I ask you something? You just did. But shoot. Um, never mind. Okay. Sorry. Get within tracking range. Use a nuke on Monaga Mine and then enter. Are they, that's insane. That's so far away. That must... I don't remember that quest. Is that a new quest? There we go. Must Finally be. settled down here. Uh, once you sub with any sub except the Prime sub, or you give the sub, you'll have a notification at the top of Twitch. You click on that to... It'll give you a code, and then you redeem the code on the website when you click on it. Uh, let's go this way. Unrefined gunpowder. 
explosive crate. What? Yep, as long as it's a paid sub or paid gift sub, it'll work. For some reason, prime subs aren't working. I don't know if that was intentional, but it hasn't been working for prime subs. Yeah, if any of you guys have a code on Prime Gaming that you're not going to use, feel free to type what version it is and then um, the code in the chat. And then chat people can redeem it if they want. If they would like a copy of the game for PC or Xbox. Some of you probably have a Prime but already own the game. So you can just throw it in the chat and someone will take it. This event plus giving away codes on Prime is going to bring in so many new players. That's why they... Uh, Already, they broke their concurrent player record. They broke their like all time concurrent player record already. Hi, Dwayne, you return to Fossil Six? Fun. I, this is my like comfy game. I like to come back and play it every now and then. I haven't played since the Wastelanders update, so it's been a little while. But it's, uh, it was fun. I'm in the rare camp that I really liked the game when it launched. You know, when it, except when it would crash and bug sometimes, but outside of that, it was really fun. I enjoyed like scouring each zone for notes and dialogues and little things and stuff. I thought it was fun. Was it perfect? No. Was it buggy? Yeah. <laughs> but I enjoyed the like scavenging around a dead world for clues about what happened. But I, I completely understand why other people did not like that. Because it was a lot of work. You had to, like, read all the notes and find all the, d the little tapes and stuff. Where do you put the code? Once you get the code after giving a sub or subbing yourself, um, you will redeem it on the Bethesda website. Firecracker Berry. Take revenge in the... Oh, let me... Um disable some of these side quests. Daily vital equipment. It, I think it would be fun if they were to... Maybe they can't, but if they could let you play the original world without the new NPCs, just to like so people could experience what it was like at launch. There might be too much work, though. That would be interesting to see that. Sorry, squirrel. Does this cost monthly? It's never costed monthly, but you can optionally pay a subscription fee for some perks if you want. But you, you never had to pay us up ever to play this. It's like a camp over there. Combat shotgun, I'll take that. Uh oh. for the rose. Appreciate that. Ooh, is that a rad storm? Uh oh. Oh, he's dead. The man and the scorch were clearly fighting before they both died. Examine the scene. Scrambled footprints uh, suggest the settlers were surprised. They didn't have time to put up defensive positions or uh, run away. Do you have to play with other others? No. Search the body for clues. I need eight luck for that. I definitely don't have eight luck. I have six. Do I have anything that would give me some more luck? Hmm, probably not. 
Examine the body. Goose match body shows several large lacerations as one must have been attacked by Scorch Beast directly. Oh, God. Although the wounds were fatal, this person was receiving medical attention. Perhaps not everyone was killed. Count the beds, realize five beds, but only four human bodies. Stem pack. That's a cute backpack. Hi there. Let's see. Shotgun, double barrel. Search under the body. Uh, you, start, you were trying to get this, someone's trying to get this person medical attention for a scorch attack. Able to cover some stem packs that were left behind for the victim. Notice a trail of blood uh, uh, footprints heading northeast. Perhaps Audrey is still alive. Right, let's go ahead and break all this down. Don't fire me! Alright, you! Gotcha! Uh-oh. Where are you? Got her. <gasps> Mothman! Did you see Mothman? He was lurking. Watching. Waiting. Oh, hell no. Jeez, right away. And a stem pack. Get that healing going on. Want to stick? Okay, the rad storm's over. That was weird. Okay, where did she go? Somewhere in that direction. Let's go find her. All right. Any good weapon? Yeah, let's grab those. Pitchfork, lead pipe, hatchet. Bowie knife, pistols, oh, pistol. Let's break those down at the weapon mint so we get some more mods. All right, boom. Stabilized grip. Match it, lead pipe, pitch barrel, barrel. Hell yeah. I redeemed my code, and it's $8 on the Microsoft Store. What's $8? The game's $8, but the, if you got a code, it should be free. If you redeem a code, it should... If you're redeeming a code, you shouldn't be charged anything because you're redeeming a code. Unless you don't own the game. And maybe it wants you... Now, for the backpack, you redeem it on the Bethesda website. You don't redeem it anywhere else. Um, if you're talking about a code for the game, that should be on the Microsoft Store, but it shouldn't cost anything once you redeem it. Secluded cave. Let's see what's in here. Oh, hi there. Stay back. You with those things? Huh? Answer me! I am a friend. I'm not going to hurt you. All right. Just don't start yelling about the one or anything crazy the one! like that. They hit us out of nowhere. Screams, gunshots, the sound of Kip getting his head caved in. God. 
I don't know how long I've been here. I guess I was just hoping it was all a nightmare, you know? It's all over now. You're safe. Thanks. I am. Um, yeah. I just needed to see a friendly face. I thought I'd be trapped here for the long haul. I don't have much to repay you. <laughs> well, I don't have anything at all, but if there's anything you need, just let me know. Why are you twitching so much? The Scorch carry disease. Um, on second thought, you might be infected. Wait. You're saying a disease made those things? What's a transmission? Airborne? Direct contact? They never touch me, I swear. Um, I can perform a medical exam. <laughs> then we'll know for sure. <laughs> You're a doctor. I had a practice in Pennsylvania yeah. before yeah. all this. A doctor. I don't have any abrasions. Cleaned all the exposed skin with whatever disinfectant I could find. I'm not seeing any signs of infection. You're cleared to head home. One piece of good news. Thanks. I'll let Paige know what happened. That's one hell of a disease you got here. Uh, Dan Dangle and the Rebel, thank you for the sub and the gift I'll sub. And Marardia, thank you very much as well. Just need to rest. Eat that noodle cup. Eat the canned dog food. Ooh, double, short double barrel. I'll take that. Nuka Cola. Just drink that. Let's grab all those. All right, let's I'll go let back. Mr. Cosmonaut, thank you for the Prime sub. Appreciate that. Foundation is a place we can free fast travel to. Hell yeah. Ooh, you can travel to the interior now? That saves us stuff. John Drum Music and W Inspector, thank you for the subs, guys. Hello. You find Aubrey's camp? Should be him and about four or five others. Aubrey was the only survivor and backed me up. He should be here soon. Damn it. <sighs> Looks like I'll be paying a few families a visit soon. All right. If Aubrey's behind you, so am I. I'll get the details from him when he gets back. If you need to resupply, you should give Sonny a visit. Hell, after that ordeal, if you see a free bed in the boarding house, rest up. For now, you just hold up your end of the deal and get us that inoculation. Uh, the, the backpack is a skin for any backpack in the game, so you put it over top of a backpack. E. Kare, thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate that. This is what it looks like. I'm wearing it right now. I'm also wearing the, the jumpsuit, the Vault 33 jumpsuit. This is what it looks like. Isn't it pretty? I think it looks really nice. What can I do for you? Let me go. You can always use more hands. Let me go back up and chat with, um, what you might call it up here. Uh, the doctor guy. Wait. Some people have moved. Oh, the daily there. Something sentimental. there where is the next um quest in the chain though Great. or is it the raider part well at least it's nice out might have to might have to do the raider part
great. Well, at least it's nice out. Data. Page got inoculated. Now I need to convince the other leader of the Raiders. So, for the Raiders, we need to go somewhere else entirely. Way All back over there. Newcomers make me nervous. Let's go back to our camp. Uh, their bad views were from years ago, but for people that, but when the game was a lot different. The game is uh, really good now. Yet Yashenka, thank you for that new sub and Shark Sharky Pie, thank you for the Prime sub as well. Appreciate that. Okay, let's drop off our scrap we picked up. Yeah, the original form of the game was six years ago. Six years. It's like, oh my god. Where does the time go? I can't believe it. yeah, it's been six years. All right, now we store everything in there. It's still 2014. What? No. No, it is not. I have so much ammo for this thing. Ammo crafting kind of, well, it's outside of like super ammo heavy weapons. Kind of useless at this point. Cannonball though. This requires lead. What about chemistry? I don't think I have too many recipes yet. Just boiled water. Speaking of which, I need to make a water station. Let's see, water, 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 water. Really? There you go, sir. Take that. I'll take that and disenchant it, though. What is this? A Braxo scouring for true short barrel. What'd you get me, buddy? Some random scrap items. Thank you. A little scrap bot helps a little bit. Oh, let's uh build. Yeah, going back and redoing these quests, it, I just re get reminded just how massive this game is. There are so many things to do. A vending machine. Oh. I want to sell stuff there. Tables, wall decor, miscellaneous structures. Oh, shelter. Shells, forward, stash. New. Oh, that's a stash. That's a workbench. New Coca Cola. God, there's so many things that you can build. Oh, allies. There we go. Um,. Beckett's Bar. Such a crappy little bar. You only have one ally at a time? That sucks. Oh, hi, friend. Let me. <laughs> oh, the 
car looks great. <laughs> I mean, even better than I'd imagined. And yeah, thanks for giving me a place to crash, huh? <laughs> why, uh, why'd you break me out of Rollins anyway? I mean, you don't know me. I, I could be a bloodthirsty maniac, an axe-wielding ex-con, or a door-to-door -door salesman. Uh, honestly, I was bored. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, then I'll consider myself lucky that busting me out of there was entertaining enough for you to stick around. Ah, look, uh, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Now, these blood eagles are bad news, and they need to go down. Hard. Now, you already stuck it to them once at the labor camp, so I know you've got what it takes. You feel like helping me wipe out the rest of these chumps? They're bad news for who? For everyone in Appalachia. I mean, they're out of control. But they take what they want and kill anyone that gets in their way. And when their numbers start to drop, they kidnap innocent settlers, force them to join the gang by shoving chems down their throat. The things I've seen them do would make you sick. That's why I bailed out. It was too much. Even for me. I haven't played since launch. How is it now? Oh, God, it's so different and so much better. You're going to owe me big for this, Beckett. Yeah, sure. Why not? Add it to my tab. Hell, at this rate, I'm going to be in debt with half of Appalachia anyway. Let's wipe him out. Ha ha! Now that's what I'm talking about. If we want to take the Blood Eagles down, killing the sheep isn't going to do the trick. We need to go after the shepherds. But before we head down that road, we'll need help. Which means I need to right a few wrongs. You, oh, you gifted? Uh, at the top of the Twitch screen, you should see a notification pop up. Um, on the little red, near the top of the Twitch bar, there's like a little red thing where you get notifications. Your code will be in there. And you just click on that and then redeem it on the website they take you to. These wrongs, I'm getting the feeling they're pretty dark if you're willing to risk your life to fix them. Oh, ho, ho. Well, we got a mind reader here. If you want to dig into what I've done, fine. I've killed people. Okay? Killed them for as little as looking at me the wrong way. Thanks for reviving that painful memory. Uh, I would say it's now as good, if not better, than some of the Fallout games after all the updates and quests they've added. And the main story is really good. I think I like the main story in this one better than I like the main story in Fallout 4. I'm talking about, like, the whole thing where you piece together all the notes and the hollow tapes and stuff. I felt that it was a much deeper, longer, bigger story because they had to... They had to write it out in notes and hollow tapes and context clues and environmental storytelling... They couldn't just like have cutscenes uh, all the time for it, which made the, them have to adjust the writing to be better than they normally do. There's no way we kill every last one of the Blood Eagles. Of course not. But taking down the top dogs would reduce them to a bunch of unorganized stragglers. And that's why we concentrate on targeting their leadership. But now with, um, of course, with... Uh, the updates and they have had NPCs they can t they have a lot of their old storytelling in this game as well because there's now NPCs where they can do cutscenes and stuff it was it was definitely a very interesting gamble that didn't pay off for them to not have NPCs in the game they, they tried something risky and it just didn't pay off so but they fixed their mistakes since then which is thank God fine let's do it ah, good I know exactly where we should start. Best bet would be my old pal Edwin. To uh, piss him off, I stole his stupid diary. So, uh, if we want his help, we need to get it back for him. Can you handle that? All right, I'll be back soon. Thanks. I'll put the word out for a mutual contact while you're out. See if I can arrange for a meeting. And also, before you head out, Thanks for letting me stay here with no strings attached. <laughs> Yet. Anyway, huh? 
I'll pull my weight around here. I will. And its current state, eight dollars, seems pretty good. It's a really good deal for what the game is. Mm -hmm. And if you have Amazon Prime, it's free. You don't have to pay anything. It's just part of your membership. Just gotta redeem it on um, Prime Gaming's website. And it's also on Game Pass, so people don't even have to. If they already have Game Pass, they don't have to pay anything. They can just download it on there and play it directly. Which I think is awesome. What can I craft? Machine guns, pipe pistol, pipe guns, pistol, level 20. What's my current weapon? It is. Twenty-two, twenty-four, so better. Not gonna be. Jawless Brahmin skull. No, thank you. Ally, dirty little secrets. Assist Beckett. Um, let's go. Getting the Raiders is, they're way to the north over there. Remember them being way over that way. Wolf Horde, Savage Divide. That requires caps. Oh, I'm sad the Equinox uh, quest is over for the uh, Mothman. That was a fun one. Give him in tracking range. That guy is 30 caps in that direction. Can we move over to Steam? Yeah, uh, you can only play on Steam now. If you had the game on on uh, Bethesda's sure, website we before, they've gotten rid gold. of that, and all you can do is play it on Steam now. You can't play it anywhere else. Claimed by Sanasu. Mothman events come back next month. Nice. Not letting people get dupe plans. Oh, I see. They're doing a makeup event for it. All right, uh, let's go back. Actually, the quickest way is probably to go here and then walk over to White Spring to unlock that. I'm gonna try the pit missions. Do not worry. What well, mods are you in? There's no mods. Um, I'm not using mods for this game because it's an online game. Of you. It's hard to mod much outside of graphics and stuff. So I think we should go. Up from Could I foundation up in to of White Spring, and then over to well, that's about the same actually. It's a little closer. Foundation exterior. So we can we can do over there though. Oh, I, I keep forgetting that the, the Microsoft has a store on Windows. They use it almost never. <laughs> So every time I forget it exists. Yeah, I've never enjoyed downloading things through it. Like, it works. But it's kind of lacking any features and stuff. It's just sort of, it works and that's fine. And I'm just like, eh. I'd rather use Steam, honestly. I don't like mods ruins the fun experience for me in games. Uh, you install mods to ruin your fun experience? Mods are mods are personal, so you install the mods that you like. If you're installing mods you don't like, that's a you problem. <laughs> mods are are designed to change the game to what you want it to be. So if you want it to be harder you install mods to make it harder. If you want it to be easier, make it so the mod be easier. You want it to look nicer, you want it to have more content, and you only install the mods you like and don't install the mods you don't like. That's why mods are exist. All the mod means is you're you're modifying the game in some way. And if you're installing mods that you don't like, that's that's something you shouldn't be doing. It's like let's say it, uh, let's say you don't like sauerkraut, but you're forcing yourself to eat sauerkraut. It's like, that doesn't make any sense. 
It's like, just don't eat sauerkraut. <laughs> eat something you like. You don't have to eat sauerkraut. Eat something you do like. Uh, there is a... It says there's a house here. But I don't see anything. I don't even see an icon. Oh, wait, right there. Icon for a house. Might be that right there. There's some weird, like, artifact thing happening there. I'm getting so sick and tired of those thorn bushes. Mods crash your game. Mods shouldn't crash your game unless you install them incorrectly. Make sure that you read all the instructions and you do all the patching to make them not crash. If you installed properly, your game will not crash. And in fact, installing mods will make the game a lot more stable because they fix a lot of bugs that Bethesda put in the game. Uh, it's it's kind of mandatory to play a lot of games with mods because they fix a lot of these stuff that Bethesda left in the engine link. Fallout 3 and New Vegas need to be patched to fix a lot of crashing problems that the game has. As one example. And then Skyrim's unofficial patch is pretty much mandatory to fix all the glitches and gaps and unfinished stuff. Mountainside. Overseer's log. Somewhere in the mountains. Oh. Not good. Not good. Stanley Awesome Tales. Scope weapon damage, 15. Hello, madam, who are you? Hi, <laughs> welcome to the mountainside bed and breakfast. Was the overseer here in a lot of pain, making a really long tape about how she was in pain? I mean, how much for a room? You can stay the night for five caps. Five caps? I'm not really interested. That's too bad. Why does she look so nervous? Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the mountainside bed and breakfast. Hi. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Uh, what is this place? This is the best and most affordable bed and breakfast in the region. Who runs this place? Well, uh, you're looking at her. I manage this place with my husband, Hubert. Be mindful around him, please. He is very forgetful at this stage in his life. I hope the breakfast part of this place still works. Of course. Not only will you get a good night's sleep, but Hubert will feed you when you wake up in the morning. Oh, shit! I don't know you could kill her. I thought you couldn't kill her. I did. I, all the ABCs are immune until, except for her. Uh. Oops. I thought she. I didn't know that she. Um. Could 
Can I reload the save? Oh, fuck. We're not. We're on. Oops. Well, I guess I don't have to pay five caps anymore. <laughs> Requires higher lockpick skill, of course. Uh-oh. Uh, I... She'll respond... Respond eventually, though. I, I think. Hopefully. Um... Overdrive, Raider Arm, three more money. Yeah, she'll respond. Sure. Uh... I'm sure of it. Yeah. Spices. Braxo Cleaner. Bramco. Yeah, I thought I would just shoot through her and be laugh about, oh my god, but she actually hit her. I'm like, uh oh. I didn't mean to do that. Is there anyone else here? This place looks a little suspicious. Ooh, caps. Multi globe. Uh, let's see. Is there a key somewhere? I don't see any keys anywhere. Yeah, I don't see any keys. Well, let's see what's uh, down the little stairs over here. There are a couple of doors I can't get into upstairs, so I don't know what that's all about. Let's Aging Emu, thank you for the sub. Enjoy your backpack. Will she be mad at me when she responds? See that can't be opened. That also can't be opened. There is a roof outside. Let me see if there is some way to go around on the outside to get onto the roof. It's a really tall building, though. I don't see anything on the roof. I don't see anything up there. Unfortunately, I think I uh, can't progress until she uh, responds. I, th I think she's a little gonna be a little mad at me. Ma'am? Thing. Um, there's no keys or anything over here. Nope. Oh, what if I just um, exit and then reload in? Maybe she'll just, you know, be alive. Nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the mountainside bed and breakfast. Nice to meet you. Uh, how much for a room? You can stay the night for five caps. I'll take it. The room is upstairs to your right. Enjoy your stay. 
Oh, wait, this guy wasn't here before. Hello. Welcome to the... Uh, uh, hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, my memory's just a little foggy. Most people don't make it to your age. I'd say you're doing pretty good. I get no credit around here. My memory is plenty sharp. Oh, yeah? No one trusts you can keep up? Oh, no. They keep thinking I forget. But I remember not to tell anybody about who was in the basement. What? You see? My mind is still sharp. Enjoy your stay. Basement? Who, who's in the basement? Hello. Welcome to the... <laughs> uh, uh, hmm. <laughs> Sometimes when a man loves a strange stranger... <laughs> Mountainside bed and breakfast. There it is. That's it. Welcome. I'm afraid I can't be of too much help. Uh, talk to my wife. Uh, uh, just talk to someone else. All right. Let me go talk to the lady about who's in the basement. I hope enjoy your stay. Who's in the basement? Inaccessible. Here's my room for the night for five caps. Uh, stem pack and a bobby pin. That's not bad. That pays for itself. Golf ball. Broken camera. Who's fisherman hat? I'll take that. What's that music? It's come from right here. Well, let's go to bed for the night. <laughs> yeah, the Fallout show is really good. I highly recommend you binge it because I don't want people spoiling it for you. The it gets really good, and then the, the last part will get you hooked on wanting a season two. That's all I'll say. Cannibal! Yes. I think I hear him getting up. Are you sure? I don't know. I think I hear footsteps. I thought you said they were sleeping. I swear they went to bed. Just have my back. Maybe they can't hear us. So on my count, we will barge in and... You said this was supposed to be easy. I'm hungry. Let's just get this over with. The other one faded out of existence. What just happened? <laughs> Boom. <coughs> Short hunting rifle. Wait a minute. The bodies are instantly fading away. What's happening? There's cannibals here? Wait, where is the... I thought I was going to die. You let them eat me? Or try to? Oh, no. Baseball, Braxo Cleaner. Always cannibals in Fallout. Always cannibals, every time. Well, I can't have nice things. There's always cannibals everywhere. Uh, ooh, a chainsaw. Unrefined powder. 
Soap. Brax of cleaner. Brax of cleaner. That was a fun little... A fun little, um... Side mission. I had no choice. They were going to kill me. Be careful. I'm sure there are more like them out there. You let them eat me. You don't let them eat me, Juliet. Yeah, you damn lost your head. My God. All right, now I'll eat them. It's only fair. It's not a, it's not cannibalism if it's for revenge. I know she like imploded. It was great. All right, let's see. Let's go back. Let's drop my survival tonight, should be here. Uh, move camp. No, not camp. Uh, survival tent. I love this little thing. This is awesome. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, we're going to go stop there for today. Uh, me and Kevin need to go get eat some dinner. Thank you guys for hanging out with our two short streams today. We'll do some longer streams tomorrow. Thank you guys for being amazing, wonderful people. As always, thank you for the subs, the resubs. Just enjoying some lovely Fallout content with us. We'll be live again all day tomorrow with some Fallout. You guys have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being amazing, wonderful people. Best audience ever. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Have a good night. See you in the morning around 10 a.m. Eastern. Bye, guys.